would like to get some opinions and feedback on your what you think about the interpreter service for medical or doctor's appointment, appointments, that there's not enough in, in rural areas. Um, there's a letter from the lawyer, myself, Daryl Fiat. find it very difficult to get an interpreter for doctor's appointments, medical needs. It's very important. You know, the Society of Deaf and Hard of Hearing Nova Scotians have a, con have a contract with the Nova Scotia government to offer provide interpreter services and funding to provide the services. Interpreters must have a certified, must be certified or experienced interpreters that before the Nova Scotia College program started. But there's still not enough certified ASL interpreters in Nova Scotia and across Canada. Some people can sign ASL, are very skilled, but don't necessarily have a certification. Maybe they can't afford the training. There is only one course that's offered for interpreters, for interpreter training, and that is in Halifax. But they've learned sign language for friends and family. In 1997, the Supreme Court of Canada offered to, to pay for interpreter services for medical services. The deaf person has a right and with no discrimination. This became law. If the signer or interpreter makes mistakes, understand the concerns, that uh, medical information that they could be sued. We must set up a way to assess signers that don't have training or certification but have the skills because there's not enough certified interpreters. The highest Supreme Court of Canada could design or require requires interpreters for people with medical needs. They must find another way to access the skills of interpreters or signers. The province is concerned about, about being sued, maybe to set up a way that this could not happen. Together, I hope we can discuss the, and have ideas on what we can do. We need more interpreters or signers. We need your names and email addresses. Thank you.